everybody. Let me introduce you to Stasson Craig Rader. He's been in Korea for two years, and he's going to give you a briefing about Christmas in Korea. Thank you, uh, Sergeant Moon. Uh, like you said, I'm, oh, thank you. I'm uh, Staff Sergeant Craig Rader, and I have been here in Korea for two years. I've been here through two Christmases in Korea. And so what I'm gonna be talking about, my speech today is just an inform information speech uh, telling you a little bit about some of the unique traditions um, that make Christmas in Korea uh, a special occasion. Uh, anyone who's ever had the chance to experience it um, you know that there's a lot of similarities with the way that Western cultures celebrate Christmas, but there's also a lot of things that are unique to Korea. And I'm looking out on the audience here. I see we do have some uh, Koreans that have lived here for your entire lives. Uh, if, if any of my information is not 100% correct, I, I apologize. Um, but for you, this should be interesting to hear about your own culture. And for the Americans that are in the audience, I hope you get something out of it as well. Uh, Christmas in Korea, it's actually been celebrated for about 300 years. Uh, it's not a new holiday in this country. Um, and over time, they've adopted a lot of the traditions that you see in Western cultures, but also over all those 300 years, they've had the opportunity to make some of their own unique traditions. And we're gonna talk about some of those today. For the Americans in the audience, you think of Christmas, you think of Santa Claus in a red suit and a jolly man with a white beard. A lot of that stems from Coca-Cola ads from the 1930s. Uh, it was an advertising campaign where that's what they showed Santa look like. And over the last 70 years, that's just become ingrained in our subconscious of that's what Santa is. Well, in Korea, Santa looks completely different. Uh, a lot of times you'll see Santa Claus wearing a blue suit and a top hat. Uh, that's, um, that's the Korean Santa. And for us to see that, it might be surprising, but that's normal for the Koreans. Um, in addition, in the States, we're, we're used to giving gifts. Uh, in fact, gift giving has been such a, a big part of Christmas that it's really almost taken it over in the States. And a lot of people talk about the commercialization and um, the marketing of Christmas and giving gifts. Well, in Korea, they, they still give gifts, but it's not presents like what we're used to in the States. Uh, a lot of times on the holidays in Korea, especially Christmas time, they'll give envelopes stuff with cash. Um, not gift cards to stores or gift certificates, but actually cash in envelopes. And uh, I think a lot of us can, would be able to appreciate that, especially when it comes time to shopping for a gift for someone and you don't know what to buy them. It'd be a lot easier to just give them an envelope stuff with cash. Um, the children will still get small toys or, or gifts, but uh, adults, what you'll see a lot of is just money. Uh, in Korea, Santa is known as Santa Haraboji which is Grandfather Santa. Um, a lot of the different cultures you'll hear, Pierre Noel and Father Christmas. Well, in Korea, he's Santa Haraboji. Now, like I said, a lot of the traditions that you'll see here in Korea uh, are shared with Western cultures. And on top of that, in Korea, they, they really celebrate a lot of those. Uh, for example, Merry Christmas. In the States, you'll hear Merry Christmas around Christmas time, but lately, in the last few years, uh, because of our uh, wanting to be more accepting of other cultures and stuff, we went to a more generic Happy Holidays. Uh, you don't hear Merry Christmas as much anymore. Well, in Korea, people still love to say Merry Christmas. Um, and, and not even if you're a Christian, but anyone who celebrates Christmas likes to say Merry Christmas. You'll see that at parks, you'll see it on government buildings, you'll see it in a lot of the stores. Um, people have no qualms at all about saying Merry Christmas uh, to other people on the street during Christmas time. And that's, that's a tradition that uh, has, is still going strong over here. Another one is caroling. Now, how many in, in this room have ever been caroling around Christmas time? H hardly anybody. Uh, well, in Korea, it's, it's common. You'll see a lot of the, the younger children will go out caroling uh, for the elderly and it's traditional for the elderly to give those children some tea or some snacks. Uh, it's a very popular tradition in Korea. Uh, just like in the States, family visits during Christmas time is common. Um, you know, relatives will all come together during Christmas time. Uh, they'll have a big dinner together and they'll spend the day with their families. Well, in Korea, it's the same way. Koreans are, are very uh, proud of their, uh, their families and their, their time that they spend with their family members. 
Uh, so around Christmas time in Korea, it's, it's hard to get anywhere on the roads because uh, everyone is traveling to spend time with their families. They're, they're very uh, uh, traditional with that, wanting to spend time with their relatives. And they'll have a big dinner uh, with a lot of food. Now the food is quite different than what you see in the States. For example, turkey or ham, which are some of the common main dishes that you'll see on a Christmas dinner table in the States. Uh, they, don't, they don't do that here in Korea. But you will see items like kimchi, which is fermented cabbage. Uh, you'll also see fruits. A lot of the family members when they come to visit will bring gifts of fruit for the dinner. They bring tangerines, uh, Korean apple pears, or persimmon fruits, and that'll all be incorporated into the Korean dinner. Uh, it's an all-day affair. A lot of the foods are labor-intensive the way they prepare them. Uh, Slow-roasted chestnuts are popular in Korea at Christmas time, uh, and also goguma, which is Korean sweet potatoes. Now, also, while the family is joined together on Christmas Day, they like to play a lot of traditional Korean games at Christmas time. Uh, one of the games that they play is yute, uh, which is uh, it's a board game played with teams of two. Uh, another game is Go Stop, uh, which is a card game um, that Koreans like to play at Christmas time. They also play Jiegi Chagi, which is kind of like hacky sack in the United States, but uh, it's with a hacky sack with, with feathers coming out of it. So in addition to wanting to spend time with family, they're interacting with their family members. They're not all sitting around a, a television watching football. Now. We talked about a lot of the traditions here in Korea and uh, uh, things that are similar to the Western cultures and things that are unique to Korea. Um, but one of the things that's in interesting over here is Christmas, Christmas is more of a secular holiday. Um, a lot of the, the Christian roots um, aren't as strong over here. Only 23% of the population in Korea uh, are Christian. Um, but a lot more than that celebrate Christmas. Um, in fact, Korea is the only East Asian country that Christmas is considered a federal holiday, uh, where you know, only 23% of the population is Christian, but it's a federal holiday. Um, you won't see that in Japan. You won't see that in Hong Kong. Uh, Korea is the only country in the uh, East Asia that recognizes Christmas that way. So in conclusion, uh, I've given you a lot of uh, things about Christmas in Korea that are unique to this country. And Maybe some of the foods or some of the games might be intimidating for uh, some of the Americans in the room, but there's also a lot of traditions that are similar and things that you would recognize um, and feel comfortable doing. Now, even though Christmas has already passed, uh, if you didn't have the opportunity to enjoy it, a lot of the decorations that you see around the city and the lights and things like that, well, there's good news. A lot of that stuff stays on display through the end of January. In Korea, they, they keep those decorations up until the Lunar New Year, which this year is at the end of January. So if you want to get out and you want to see some of the decorations of the city and, and the way things are decorated for the holidays, uh, there's still the chance to go do it. And for those of you that will be here next year for Christmas, I definitely encourage you to go out uh, maybe join up with one of the Koreans, uh, go to a family meal, and you'll get to experience a lot of these traditions firsthand. And that would be, uh, in addition to everything else you do here in Korea, it's just one more thing to do for yourself to experience the culture, to experience the people, and to make your stay here more enjoyable. That would be a, a great gift to give yourself. So with that, uh, I thank you for listening. Uh, I did have some pictures, but with the lights, they're, they're not going to show up well, but uh, I can show them to you afterwards. I've got some pictures of Santa Claus wearing a uh, blue suit with a top hat. I've got some pictures of the, the traditional Korean Christmas foods as well. So if anyone has any questions, all right, well, thank you.